All right, guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another video. We got Jamal here with us. That's right. You know where we are. We're in the garage where everything first started back on the OG grounds. That's right. <laughs> Probably coming here for a lot more videos, DIY videos anyways. But in today's video, we will be installing more interior mods on the F80 M3. Now, if you guys remember back to when I installed the carbon fiber paddle shifters and a couple other carbon fiber um, exterior pieces to the car, um, I kind of said that that was, you know, more or less the perfect interior. But I got to thinking more and more and I was like, I need to add a couple more things because they just, they just needed to be there in a sense. So today we will be installing the BMW M Performance Alcantara and carbon fiber armrest and the BMW M Performance Alcantara and carbon fiber e-brake. And the reason why I am installing those two things to the interior of the car is because if you guys are new here to the channel and you don't know, my car came optioned with the BMW M Performance LED uh, steering wheel with the carbon fiber insert there trim in the middle. So it only felt right to just go ahead and add the armrest with the carbon fiber and the e-brake handle with carbon fiber because as they come from the factory optioned, unless you option those to be in your car when it's made, um, it's just gonna be the same color as the interior. So in this case, my armrest is Shakir orange and the e-brake boot is just black leather. So. We're gonna be throwing these into the car today. Um, this is a fairly easy uh, install. It doesn't require many tools. As you can see, these are probably the only two tools that we are gonna be using and you guys are gonna be using if you happen to do the same install. So without further ado, as Jamal gets some B-roll, let's go ahead and let's hop into the installs. All right guys, so now we are in the back of the M3 and this is where I would recommend uh, you guys be as well to do um, the uh, armrest install because this is the easiest way to do it. If you do it from the front seats, uh, it's gonna be very tedious unless you're a small person and you might not be able to do it. So uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove this black trim piece that sits at the end of the center console back here in the back seat. And as you can see, um, it does detach from the center console itself on both sides. So what you're simply gonna do is you're gonna reach from underneath, right about down here, and you're just gonna pull. Now when you pull, you're gonna hear a, a click like what you just heard. Don't worry, you're not breaking anything. Just make sure you do it to both sides, like that. And then you're just gonna gently pull back like that. Now once this piece has been pulled off from the center console, right down here, you see this connection that's right here you're gonna have to remove this connection. All you have to do is just put your hands on it and wiggle her off like that. <clears throat> Once that one's undone, you'll have one more that's up here. It's gonna be a white connection. Now I, I went ahead and I already removed this white connection from where it clips onto. And it clips onto, um, I don't know if you guys can see that too well, but there's a little black holding bracket right here my fingers on it that that um, white connection goes into. But you're gonna have to pull it down like I just did and then you're gonna have to pull it off. Usually it takes about two hands. So let me see if I can set the GoPro up some way, somehow to try and get it out. Oh, there we go. Just like that. <clears throat> so once those have been removed, it's gonna look like this. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. And now this is where, um, you know, the tools are gonna come that I have over here. Some needle nose pliers and a flathead right here. So what you're basically gonna wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to take your needle nose pliers and right underneath, you see this little portion right here of the spring clip? This portion has to come up above these two plastic uh, holding uh, positions for this because when you lift up the armrest, as you can see, the spring holds the tension and those two blast plastic uh, clips right here keep the spring from popping out. So once you take your needle nose pliers, you're just gonna grab onto it or push back and up to get it over this point right here. And then the spring itself will become loose. And then as you can see, 
there's a little bolt on the uh, right side and there's a little bolt right here on the uh, left side. Once the spring loses its tension, you'll be able to slide each one of these little rods out. Once they're out, they're gonna come out from these, uh, these sections over here, here and here. Once those are out, the armrest will be able to be lifted up. And once it's lifted up, it'll come off and then you'll be able to put your new one on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that. And then once that's done, we're gonna put everything back together and then we're gonna move on to the e-brake um, up front. <laughs> And there's Jamal. <laughs> All right guys, so now that you've seen how simple that process is to remove the OEM um, armrest right here, it's gonna be that exact same process when putting on the M-Performance one. And both of these parts are OEM. I did purchase the Alcantara armrest um, with the carbon fiber and the e-brake um, as well, both from BMW. So the fitment should be spot on. There shouldn't be anything or any issues that uh, I should have or you guys should have if you go with the OEM parts. So that's good to know as well. And then this is that spring that I was telling you guys about. Um, as you can see, this portion down here is what clips onto uh, the two retaining brackets down here. Now I didn't, I wasn't able to use um, my needle nose pliers um, because they were just a little bit too thick. But you still can use the needle nose pliers. Um, but I went ahead and I just used the flathead screwdriver. I stuck it underneath and I just popped the spring out. As you guys saw. Um, it is pretty violent <laughs> because this spring is under a lot of tension. But once the tension was off the spring, I was able to slide out uh, both of these metal rods right here. Now it is very important to note, uh, I don't know how well you guys can see that, but this end of the rod is kind of, it kind of has like these jagged edges to it. And then this is like the pointy side. So the pointy side is what's gonna go back in this way when you're inserting it. And the jagged, end, jagged edge uh, side right here on the rod is what's gonna be the outer portion. So it's gonna look like that when it's back in. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw on the new armrest, put everything back together, show you guys how it works, and then we're gonna move up front to the e-brake. All right guys, so as you just saw, that's how you put everything back together. Now, unfortunately I wasn't able to use the uh, needle nose uh, pliers down here to put the spring back on. They were a little too thick, but I was still able to do it with the flathead screwdriver, but I didn't show that on camera because it was kind of giving me a hard time. Just make sure that everything's back in the correct position that it's supposed to be in. You're gonna have to give it a lot of force in order to get that spring back on because it is wound up very tight. But as you can see, Everything is back together. Everything does look good. Armrest does work. Forward and back, back and forward. So that is install number one. Now we're just gonna go ahead and move up to the front here and uh, do the armrest, which is gonna take literally a couple of seconds. 
If any of you guys have never seen an uh, the e-brake install, you'll probably laugh at how simple uh, this install is. So let me hop up in the driver's seat and uh, let me do this for you guys real quick. All right, guys, so now we're up front. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove the old um, e-brake boot itself. And we're going to be installing the in-performance one, as I've already said, right here. Now, I kid you guys not, <laughs> this is probably one of the simplest installs that you can do. It doesn't take any effort at all. It doesn't take any tools at all. All I need to have is a little bit of grip strength, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to come right down here to the lower portion of the e-brake boot. You're gonna kind of stick your finger underneath it and you're gonna lift up like this. So you see, just like that, it already popped out. It already popped out, it already came loose. This whole thing is loose. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever your dominant hand is, whichever one is the strongest, you're gonna grab the actual e-brake um, handle itself here and you're gonna push forward like that and it's gonna slide off. So as simple as this was to remove is as simple as it is to put on the new one so we're gonna take our new one over here. We're gonna line everything up by sliding it in first, making sure it's straight. Now, once that's in, it's important to line up the base down here first, because this is gonna slide into place. <clears throat> so once you have that down, now these clips that are here on this outer portion, you're gonna kind of push those in to place, like so. Now I have this bottom half down and then you're just going to push everything into place up here at the top. Like so. Until you hear everything click. You might have to push a little bit. But. It will go into place. Dang, I made this look so easy and now I'm struggling. <laughs> ah. Alright, well. You guys get the gist. That's pretty much how it works. I need both hands apparently, so I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera. But once this back portion is, and the clips in this back portion are pushed into place and everything's down, how it is in the front here, you're gonna take this portion of the e-brake and you're just gonna pull it down onto the actual e-brake itself, like so, until you hear it click. Once that clicks, you're good to go. And that'll be that for the install for the Alcantara and carbon fiber and performance e-brake handle. And that's uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, we're gonna wrap up this video. We're gonna do the outro after I uh, get this all clicked into place. And then that'll be that. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna hand the camera over to Jamal. Take a black face. So not for nothing, but he wasn't lying. This really was, this was the, this was the quickest install we've ever done thank god thank god yeah, thank god and it uh still took two hours <laughs> but no it's the reason why it takes so long is just because we do a lot of extra filming just to try to make it a little bit easier for you guys the viewers just to see different angles and just make it a lot smoother for you guys to watch um yeah ben's car is looking really nice right now still struggling <laughs> He's still struggling. Honestly, let's uh, let's put a question down in the chat. Real quick, guys, what do you think? What do you think is a better material? Um, suede or Alcantara? What do you think, Ben? Which one are you willing to pay for? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, me personally, I like the feel of Alcantara as opposed to suede, even though, I mean, they're generally, I mean, they're technically the same thing. But I feel like, I think I think Alcantara is uh, more expensive than suede, or I could be wrong. You guys. I think Alcantara is more expensive. I think Alcantara is more expensive. Um, Otherwise, you, BMW would have used. Suede, <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, you never know. You usually find like suede on like headliners and whatnot. Right. But you'll find like Alcantara on things that you touch with your hands more on a daily basis. Maybe one's more easy to handle oil with. Yeah, I think one's more easy and maybe one's like easier to clean. Not too sure, but I definitely like the way Alcantara feels. I like the way it looks. Yeah. Obviously, or else I wouldn't be <laughs> installing the Yeah, so comment down below. What do you guys think is the better material? And um, and give us the reason why. Also, wanted to take some time to say that if you guys like our content, if you guys like our videos, 
Um, if this is the first video that you've seen, welcome to the channel. Um, hope you're here for a long time, not just a good time. Um, well, actually, a good time and a long time. Um, like, comment, subscribe for sure. Um, if you guys have been here for a while, um, we're about to reach 400 subscribers. So this is awesome for us. Um, we're really trying to shoot for 500 or 1,000 by uh, next year. So I believe we can get it done. Uh, like, comment, subscribe again. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, anything else you want to say, Ben? The install is done. Uh, it helps if you lift up the armrest. I probably should have said that, but uh, it helps if you lift up the armrest. And again, like I said, when you're sliding on the e-brake handle onto the actual skeleton portion, it's gonna take some force. Pull it back until you hear the click. When you hear it go click, that's when you know it's on for sure. Then just go around and double check, make sure all the clip holdings that hold it into the center console are good to go. Because you don't wanna rip your e-brake and the whole thing come off. And then you're gonna be back back at square one when we started. But other than that, that's it. Um, stay tuned guys. There's a lot of big things coming to the F80 M3 that I haven't talked about yet. But um, the car, I won't have the car for about two weeks when I get these parts that are coming in. I won't talk about it too much now. We'll talk about it maybe in a later video on another install or whatever the case may be. But the M3 is definitely gonna be changing um, look wise. So that's all I'll say for now. But as always guys, thanks a bunch. Um, you know, just going over what Jamal already said, you know, we're trying to get that 500 subscribers and or a thousand. Uh, we're just going to keep pushing. Thanks for always supporting us and uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Now come watch this B-roll that we threw together of uh, the install.